In this class, we study more about Dirac equation. Actually, in the previous class, we have derived the uh, Dirac equation, right? And Dirac equation is written like that. Hamiltonian is linear in momentum multiplied by some, some matrix and linear in mass and multiplied by some matrix. And we have shown that only from 2 by 2 matrix, the 4 by 4 matrix, such kind of matrix exist. The reason is that the square of this Hamiltonian must reproduce the energy momentum relation. And if I square this, I have alpha dot p plus beta m squared. And the p squared factor has alpha i alpha j. And crossing term is a p i alpha i beta beta alpha i m. And beta squared term is a beta squared m squared. And that must be the same as a p squared plus m squared. That gives alpha i alpha j plus alpha j plus alpha i must be two times Kronecker delta. And linear term in momentum must vanish it so that alpha i and beta must anti-commute and beta squared must give identity. So that constraint the gives the minimal matrix such that alpha equals the sigma matrix in the off diagonal term and beta is 1 minus 1, 4 by 4 matrix. It is easy to find that uh, from this matrix directly you can show that alpha i and beta both of them are Hermitian. But before doing that using this factor only you must be able to find that alpha and beta are Hermitian. And sigma matrices are given in this way. Sigma 1 is 1, 1 in the octagonal term. Sigma 2 is minus i, i. And sigma 3 is uh, diagonal, 1 minus 1. Why don't we find covariant form of Dirac equation? Covariant form must be, we must make use of the covariant derivative. You know, we have Spatial, uh, time derivative and spatial derivative in momentum. So there must be some way to find the covariant form. Okay, why don't we move everything to the left hand side, then Hamiltonian, and momentum is now in the plate plus i, alpha dot gradient, and this term becomes minus beta m. Here, I'd like to multiply beta matrix because I have a simple constraint that beta squared is 1. If I multiply beta both sides, the right hand side is uh, 0, and this, uh, this term becomes just minus n because the beta squared is uh, 1. So I have matrix here and another matrix here with additional factor beta. Now, why don't we define these matrices beta and beta alpha? But there are three matrices. And just treat this one as a full vector. Because there are four, four matrices. Sure, it has its own uh, Dirac structure that has a 4x4 four four matrices. However, it has a vector index, 0th component and uh, spatial component. Then it is multiplied with covariant derivative. If I multiply them, I have plus sign. So I can reproduce the uh, scalar product style. So if we define gamma matrices like that, which, whose zeros component is beta and the spatial component is beta alpha, then this is just 
gamma nu round nu something like that. Okay. So this is just gamma mu round mu. Right? And minus mass. This is the covariant form for the Dirac equation. Here, gamma matrix is uh, defined to be gamma zero is beta, beta is uh, here, and gamma vector, which is also matrix, is beta alpha. If I multiply beta here, beta and alpha, alpha is here, then I have 0 minus sigma, sigma 0. Okay, so spatial component of the gamma matrices are sigma minus sigma, which you still have the off diagonal term. Then our next question is that what is the Lagrangian? that produces this equation of motion to make it short just uh, let me give you the answer this is the Lagrangian where this psi bar is defined to be psi dagger multiplied by gamma zero okay So, this is psi dagger and gamma zero, and I copy the remaining part. If we derive the equation, uh, minimize the uh, action by making use of psi dagger, it is simpler, but for educational purposes, let me derive the equation of motion by making use of the variation of psi. As we learned, as we learned in the previous uh, case for the scalar particle, complex conjugate field is independent of original state if it is charged particle, right? So in general, psi and psi dagger are different independent field. So minimization of the action can be made in a separate way. So if I find the Euler Lagrange equation that is like that, any field derivative, so derivative, and take another spatial derivative for each indices, and subtract the Lagrangian's uh, derivative with respect to that field. The, if we compute this, derivative is given in here so what I do is just pull out over a factor of this guy right that is this so psi dagger gamma zero gamma mu and I have factor of i if I take the derivative with respect to psi then I have I read mass with gamma zero factor and minus sign cancels this negative sign if I combine both of them after taking the derivative, then round mu i psi dagger gamma zero gamma mu. And right thing is a plus m psi dagger gamma zero equals zero. It is rather complicated, but if I want to find the equation of motion for psi, it's better to take the complex conjugate. For the matrix, so we, we take the Hermitian conjugate. And if I take the Hermitian conjugate, a uh, simple case is gamma zero dagger and psi, right? Uh, that, is, that is this, right? But gamma zero is what? Beta, and beta is a mission. So, this is just gamma zero psi, gamma zero psi. And next, consider this. 
remember that this derivative acts only on psi. Psi has x dependence, but these are just constant matrices. If I take the derivative to those matrices, it just disappears. So it is constant. So <coughs> if I take the complex conjugate, order is flipped. So gamma mu is here with dagger, and gamma zero, dagger is gamma zero, gamma zero is beta, and then psi dagger becomes psi, and complex conjugate. Hermitian conjugate, once a Hermitian conjugate acts on a complex number, it becomes a complex conjugate. And so I have minus i. I have rather complicated object, gamma mu dagger. It can be computed component by component. For the zero component, gamma zero dagger. Oh, it's a beta. Beta dagger is beta. So beta is gamma zero. It, it is the same. What happens to the i component? i component is a beta alpha i, and Hermitian conjugate is flip the order and take the complex conjugate for each case. So alpha i dagger and beta dagger. And as we know, alpha i and beta, both of them are Hermitian matrices. So just alpha i beta. But I have anti-commutation relation alpha i beta is a minus beta alpha i, right? So I have negative sign. Beta alpha i is gamma i. So gamma mu dagger is like that, where gamma mu equals gamma zero gamma. So just like, it is just like, um, it is just like gamma mu The so contravariant becomes covariant. Okay. So it is wrong. Why? This derivative must act on this derivative is uh, covariant, and this derivative must uh, be coupled to contravariant one. We have to correct this relation. The, the way, one of the ways, just multiply gamma zero. We have this kind of relation. This is a homework. It is very easy to show using the everything shown here. If I multiply gamma zero to gamma mu dagger, it becomes gamma mu lower index, but when gamma zero commute, <coughs> Gamma zero and gamma i we combine everything together our anti-commutation relation is 2 times g mu nu i identity so if you, if you show that it is easy to show that gamma zero triple gamma zero is a beta of two and the any beta squared is one so it is beta so it is the same but the spatial component if it is i it changes its own sign so here its sign is flipped due to the dagger for the spatial component but again gamma zero when it anti-commutes it flipped the sign for the spatial component only. So flip the sign flips to twice, it becomes the same. So it is just gamma mu. Gamma mu. Upper index. So if I make use of this fact, then I just multiply gamma zero to the left hand side, then what is that? This is just gamma mu up. And gamma zero squared is just identity. So what I have is it becomes identity and this guy because of this relation is replaced with gamma mu and as we know gamma mu is con constant matrix so if I take the derivative it just 
this this derivative just pass and it acts on the side and we just multiply minus 1 to both sides then it becomes Dirac equation of the covariant form okay that's it